हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस नेक्स्ट क्लास द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन रिलेटेड टू द आईआईटी जैम 2020 ट्वेंटी मैथमेटिकल स्टेटिस्टिक्स दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच इज आस्क इन द आईआईटी जैम दिस इज अगेन यू हैव टू राइट दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू राइट दियर आंसर इन द फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स अप टू द टू डेसिमल प्लेसिज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन आर देयर आई गारंटी यू कैन सॉल्व दिस सच टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विद इन वन मिनट आर देयर यू हैव टू सिंपली रीड द स्टेटमेंट वेरी केयरफुली सो माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर्ग इज देयर so remember that whenever there is a whenever there is a normal distribution or whenever there is a n approaches infinity you always try to implement the center limit theorem i already tell you uh, so many times in my previous videos that whenever there is a n approaches infinity or the normal distribution is given to you you have to apply the center limit theorem for that it means your target if i write this say y where i consider y as of this then your target is to apply the center limit theorem on this so what is the target behind the center limit theorem it means your target is to find you have to write this y in terms of here that is the expected value of the y and variance of the y so that's the major target you have to find once you will find this value of the ey and xy your answer will be there so how you find the expected value of the y so you know uh, these are the independent also given to you so this value is nothing but the expected value of the x1 expected value of the x2 minus 2 times the expected value of the x3 what is the expected value of the this is the first notation is my mean the second one is my variance so this is nothing but my 47 plus second value is my 55 second well third value is my 60 so what is the answer of that is once you solve them it's a minus of 18 similarly how you can find the variance of this since they are independent so you can add them and what is the variance of this ax it is nothing but my variance a square of x so it will be my 4 times variance of the x3 so what is that what is the variance of the x1 is my 10 variance of x2 is 15 variance of the x3 is 14 into 4 is my 56 so you can see this is nothing but my 81 is there now what is the required target your target is to write this value this is your target how you can write them you can simply convert into the z that is y minus expected y minus expected value is my 18 minus minus plus divided by square root of 81 that is a 9 so you can you can add 18 on both side you can divide it by root of 9 uh, sorry root of 81 that's a 9 so what will happen this is nothing but my phi of phi so what is that this is nothing but my phi of Two and phi of two, all of you know that it's given to you. Uh, whenever you try to read the instruction of the paper, its value is given to you in this uh, in uh, in this paper earlier. So uh, this value, uh, sorry, this value phi of uh, two is given to you in the paper. And once you solve them, the answer of this problem is given as here. This value of phi of two is given to you in the statement. So you have to round them up to the two decimal places. So you have to write like this is the required answer of this problem so you can see this is a very simple problem that's a very simple problem you can try to think about this always in the form of the center limit theorem if you have any doubt regarding the center limit theorem i recommend you you can see my previous video related to this mcq on the center limit theorem which is a 20 questions are there and we can solve this question within a one minutes you can see this video is of the 15 or 15 minutes 20 questions covering the 15 minutes less than of the one minutes in each of the questions so we will see some another questions in of the iit jams in our next videos till then you can simply follow this link share this video with the others best of luck